Use code word 30 miles out and get 10% off at kayakfishinggear.com. Hey everybody, it's Ty again. Welcome back to Yakin, Texas. I get this question so much on my, my fishing show, 30 Miles Out. This comment, um, what kind of line should I use offshore, BTV, beyond the breakers? I tend to go a little lighter, I guess, than most, but I don't find it lighter. Out there, there's no obstruction, so you don't have to go heavy. The lighter your line, the lighter your leaders, the more hits you get, just a tip. Um, I like 14 pound mono, or let's say 14 anything up to 20. 14 to 20 is a sweet spot for me. 14 pound mono, 14 pound braid, 20 pound mono, 20 pound braid. I love it. In fact, 17 pound mono is killer for these size 60 spinning reels. I love 17 pound mono with a 60 pound leader. This is an Akuma combo I picked up in a pinch in Florida. Uh, it's got 20 pound mono and I've hung just freight trains with this thing. I tell you what, you know, you can use braid to make a smaller rig more stout. And what I do with braid typically is I really like for offshore, I like to take a stout bass rig, like an Ambassador 6000, put it on a stout bass rod, and you have a very castable small rig. You put 14 to 20 pound braid on that, and you got a killer kingfish outfit. You can also still cast it if you see jacks blowing up or something. So there you go. Ty says, 14 to 20, braid or mono, your choice. Just depends on how much money you want to spend. I've caught 150 pound black tips on 15 pound test mono. It's, it, it, there's no trouble out there. It's not bass fishing where you're hauling through structure. So anyway, 14 to 12, 20 pound braid or mono is what I say. And uh, if you have any comments, please put them below. I'll answer any questions you have. Don't forget to like 30 Miles Out on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe right here on Yakin, Texas. We'll catch you next time.